you're not getting this part. I went, okay, so when do I audition? He goes, you don't audition, it's a small part, any idiot can do it. But I need, I need the right idiot. I'm like, wow, this really pumps the guy up. So I said, so what do I do? He said, you're gonna meet Al Pacino and we're gonna see what Al Pacino thinks of you. I'm like, that's an audition? I said, okay, sir, what day do we do that? He looked at his watch and said, we're leaving now. Like, what? We get in this car, we go to some $80 million restaurant in Beverly Hills, and we sit down, I'm like, we're gonna, we're having lunch with Al Pacino. He said, yeah, Al Pacino walks in. I stood up, <laughs> Godfather, Godfather 2, Scarface, Dog Day Afternoon, sir, thank you for everything. Call me out, call me out. I said, I won't be able to do that. And so, we had this lunch, he's hilarious, he's nice to everyone, and at the end of it, he looks over at Michael May and goes, Michael, I like him. And that's how I got the part in heat. And every day, I'd see Al Pacino, since I have scenes with him, I always, you know, said, good, I said, good morning, Al, how are you? And he'd stop, and he'd be like, Henry, I'm not doing very well. He goes, tell me, I'm like, okay, I just, I just wanted to hear, I'm fine, but I, I think I sprained, I strained a muscle in my leg. I'm like, okay, he would tell you everything. And that's when I realized, here's another guy who's not making it about himself. He's about the art. He's about the work. And I'm not trying to impress you with people I've met. The point I'm making is this. I have bumped into a lot of my heroes in entertainment, in music, and the bigger the rock star, the more humble they are in the face of music. The bigger the actor, the more humble they are in the art of acting. I mean, the, the big movie star, the big rock star, they live in fear of failing the art, and it's not about money, it's not about fame, it's all about trying to do the damn thing really well.